I am, I am the humble, the humble seer. seer. Hello and welcome to the humble seer. So let's talk Christy Brinkley and her significant other. Um, let's see what's going on in her world. Christy Brinkley is an actress. Um, she does infomercials and she was a model, is a model still, I guess. So we're going to pull a card on Christy Brinkley's overall relationship with whoever she's with. I don't know if she's married. I just don't know, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to talk about uh, the person that would be in her life in a romantic way. Okay, so whether she's in one or not, this will just be about the relationships that she finds herself in. Okay, so this is the overall relationship. This is how Christy views them. And this is how they view Christy. And let's pull a let's pull a mystery card and see if there's anything else that the cards want to tell us. Okay, so the overall is the Seven of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles steps in and says things, uh, it's hard work. Being in a relationship with her is hard work because of the vanity I'm hearing. Christy Brinkley has great vanity, but I don't think anybody would be surprised by that if they have a familiarity with her. But she's vain. And so they find that it's like, it's pushing against, um, I don't know, anything that, like a tie. You, you just, you can't, you, there isn't anything you can do with it. With, you know, it's just like pushing against what's coming at you, basically. Which she does quite a bit coming at them, which is interesting. This is how she views them. Okay, well, she views them as the Ten of Cups. She's open arms with them. But I'm going to put it low at the board because, like I say, she is exhaustive work. But she views them as the Ten of Cups. She views them as a happy home. Until it's not, of course. But she views them as the Ten of Cups. Happy family, marriage, fairy tale endings. And I'm hearing also that this is what she projects. She can put that fake smile on and really deceive. Oh, how's your relationship? Oh, it's wonderful. Meanwhile, you actually get there. You you get a peek inside the relationship and you realize that it's not wonderful. But it's what she wants. And how do they view her? They view her as 10 of pentacles. Okay, so anybody that is involved with her, gets involved with her, they're about her money. They're not necessarily about the woman. Because, you know, she's she's built a little empire. She has her hands in a lot of different things, right? And so they like the money. Because the Ten of Pentacles is all about money, wealth, financial security, right? Family treasures, large sums of money. So they're viewing her, it's interesting that there's tens. She's viewing them as the Ten of Cups, which is not about money because they don't bring money to the table necessarily. And they're viewing her as the Ten of Cups. It's all about the money. Okay, let's see what the mystery card is. All right, the mystery card is Four of Wands. And the Four of Wands is home, joy, happy. So... What is a mystery about her relationships is <laughs> that they're never four of wands. <laughs> they're just not four of wands. It's not attainable for, for her. The four of wands is happy home. And it just doesn't happen for Christy Brinkley. Love is not where it's at. But I hear that she is very... Um, the reason being is that she's very vain because we go back to the Six of Pentacles. It's about her, what, you know, I, I mean, it's about her and her always wanting to be in the, in the limelight, her wanting to be out front, her wanting attention at any, by any means, you know, necessary to get that attention. If it means plastic surgeries, working out continuously eating you know just whatever she can do to maintain what she has in terms of her outward appearance 
And it just, it's hard work for them. But again, they're about 10 of pentacles. They're about her money anyway. She's 10 of cups, but it's a fallacy. It's a fantasy. And the four of wands comes in and says, this is what she would like, but sadly won't get. But I feel that she uh, has come to terms with that and she's fine with it. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for stopping by the Humble Seer. Please do consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and leave a comment below. And if you like what I do, consider buying me a coffee. And that will be in the description box below. Until next time, you take good care and we'll talk again soon. Bye. Welcome to the Humble Seer. So we're going to talk the Olsen twins and their significant other. But before we get into their relationships, let's talk about these two twins and how they uh, view each other. Because, you know, you see them photographed and they're always together and they seem to be, I can't say happy because they don't ever look happy. But um, in the, you know, pictures that I've seen, they look always kind of, sad and dark but this is their overall relationship with the twins themselves we'll get into relationship a little bit we'll pull a card on that this is how i believe it's mary kate this is how mary kate views um her sister 